Ah, oh, guys, I'm feeling kind of lazy today. I'm going to take the elevator. Oh, gosh, this is so much better than using the stairs. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Damien, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. Today, we're checking out a realistic elevator. Take a look at this, guys. It looks so freaking awesome. We could go ahead and walk into our elevator, hit that button, and now we can just simply go to the second floor with our doors opening and everything. Pretty much very realistic, so let's go ahead and take a look at this again. And yeah, that's how it works, guys, and it's quite simple to build, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, you need a 6 by 9 by 3 area, and the third block is going to be the ground floor. In addition to that, you also need some slime blocks and a block that cannot be moved by your slime blocks, which could either be furnaces or, in my case, obsidian blocks. Once you have that, take your sticky pistons, count 4 this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, then 3 this way, and place down your sticky pistons in a 4 configuration. Once you have that, you place down your slime blocks on top, and then the ground floor of your elevator, and by way this is the nine side and this is the six side if you guys are wondering and okay so there we go we have that structure completed now we take your furnace or your obsidian blocks place it down right over here onto your piston come onto this side place one on your slime block and then count two more up and then place one over here and then count two more up from here and place another one right there. So there we go, guys. We have that configuration. Now we can go ahead and power it with redstone. And first things first, we need to staircase down from the top block. There we go. Two blocks down. And once we have that, we place another block at the bottom, one over here, and then kind of continue it until we get to this section. And then follow my lead over here, guys. We basically just kind of connect it to that block. And right over here, we need a quartz slab, which is going to work as a place to place on redstone. And essentially, we place down the quartz slab under this obsidian block and kind of carry it over. Once we have that, we break the block that's over here. Make sure you do that because we do not want that slime block touching that quartz block all right so there we go guys now we go ahead and just place redstone on top of all of these blocks and now this bit of redstone should power the redstone down here and up here at the same time then we go ahead and take a redstone repeater place it to four ticks at the bottom place another one over here to two ticks connect this redstone place down another block over here with some redstone on top and break this block which i have glass so i need to break it and then place down another redstone repeater and set it to two ticks the same as this one right over here all right, so once you have that, take yourselves a lever, place it onto the top block, and then right-click, and it should extend your pistons all the way to the top, creating your elevator. So once you have that, guys, that is basically the elevator. You could decorate it and design it however you want, but for the sake of this video, I'll be adding in the doors, which makes it more realistic. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is add in the buttons. That way, we don't need to use a lever. And to do this, we basically break this lever, place down two blocks over here, break the one in the middle, place down a button button onto this block that you place right over here and then place on a redstone torch at the back place a block on top of that redstone torch another torch another block on top of it and then a bit of redstone and then another block right over there so there's basically a three block gap between these two buttons once you have that place another button over here and now we could essentially have a flipping switch which is basically going to have both switch act on the same bit of redstone okay so the next thing you want to do is grab yourselves a random block place two of it next to this one torch and then place a sticky piston facing up once you have that you go ahead and take your quartz and place place a block right over there and actually we need to place over here and then down there so we basically just have a bit of quartz kind of going down towards our piston then we place some redstone up there and then destroy these two blocks once you have that you go ahead and place a solid block at the top of that and it could be any block that you like and then place another quartz right over there place down a bit of redstone or I believe a redstone repeater there we go and then add in another block right over there and then on the other side, basically just place down a random block and then have a bit of redstone at the top and then a sticky piston facing down and then a, uh, what do you call this, a redstone block at the bottom. So here we go, place down the redstone block over there, then take some quartz or your other block and then extend this area and then place down a bit of redstone. So basically it's gonna power that piston and push it down and this redstone block is gonna power our redstone at the bottom and essentially make it a T flip flop. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this out. There we go and it should work just fine. Let's go ahead and try this again. 
And yeah, so there's our T flip flop working nice and well. Now the last thing we need to do is add in our doors and then we are done. All right, so to add in our doors, we essentially just take some blocks and um, count the floor level. So basically what we need to do is place down some obsidian blocks right over here, which is gonna be the first floor and then some obsidian blocks on the next floor, which is gonna be right over here. All right, so once you have that, I do wanna mention that you need to place obsidian blocks over here because your slime blocks are gonna to be touching it on the first floor. So the second floor doesn't really matter that much, but the first floor, um, you know, it does matter, of course. All right, so once you have that, go ahead and just hit the button and reset the elevator, and then take some regular blocks, count three out, like so, one, two, three, and then count three more on this side, one, two, three, there we go. And then place down some sticky pistons like so, facing um, towards your elevator, and then destroy these blocks, there we go, and essentially do this on the same um, side and kind of have it fitting properly, I kind of messed up over there. All right, so there we go, and now, kind of delete those blocks and once you have that you can go ahead and take your slime blocks place three on each side on each piston and then once you have that you essentially have your doors so there we go and now we just come down here and place two more all right so there is where our doors are going to be once you have that you take yourselves an obsidian block place it onto the edges right over here above your slime blocks. So yes, they do have to be furnaces or obsidian blocks. Then you take your redstone torch, place it on each side like so. And we also popped out some redstone. I'm not sure if that's a problem, but we'll we'll see in just a minute. All right, so just take some more um, torches and place it on this side. And once you have that, place a redstone torch on top. That way it's inverted each and every time that you activate it. And also place one over here. All right, so once you have that, take another block, place it at the bottom of this obsidian block, and then have it so you could kind of connect it to the other one. And essentially do the same on the other side and just delete the block at the bottom and then wrap it around so you could uh, just connect this with redstone. All right, so there we go, pretty simple. And once you have that, you want to go ahead and put a block down here and kind of staircase it towards this uh, thing over here and essentially just have it powered forever. So now when the uh, button is hit, this redstone block will be moved and also it would switch the doors. So that's essentially how that works. Another thing that you want to do is place a redstone torch over here, place another block on top, and this is actually something that you need to definitely do, and then place another block over here and kind of have it staircase to the top, like so. So basically one block on top of this torch, two blocks over here, one block over here, delete that block, place some redstone over here, a redstone repeater right over there and then place some redstone over there so there we go guys that is the um, kind of modification that's gonna help our doors open on time and also another modification you want to add over here is placing down some more blocks placing a redstone repeater at I believe one tick or possibly three ticks I don't even know and then place down a bit of redstone right over here so essentially this block is gonna pass down and keep the doors open longer that way our kind of elevator does not touch our um, our doors, which is gonna be a regular block. So yeah, just do those modifications. I highly recommend it because that's what's gonna make your elevator work. All right guys, so I ran into a bunch of problems building this elevator and I do want to correct it right now so you guys do not have the same mistakes on your own. So basically you need to replace all of these blocks right at the front where you have your buttons with obsidian and also make sure you have this block going up right over here because I had the block kind of down here and that means that I had basically the redstone from this block connecting to this one. And I do not want that, I actually need to have the block going up, that way the redstone is not affected by the one at the top. So essentially guys, you need to change this block right over here to this configuration and not to how it was previously. And once you have that guys, you basically have your working elevator. Yet again, here is the floor. I kinda had to tear it apart to see what was wrong with it. And here is the second floor. So yeah guys, that is basically the tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Once you have your entire elevator completed, you essentially just build around the slime blocks using your obsidian blocks, and then you have yourselves a working elevator.